do you think was in your mind was Walter White a narcissist from the get go, or do you feel like that the environment that he was placed in brought out those qualities in him? Was he was he deep inside and his subconscious dying to become uh, Heisenberg, or or what, or did or did that just happen because of what was going on with him? Excellent question. And by the way, anyone who's a fan. You know, once once it goes out the door, and you guys you guys know this when you as you create as well, it's really something magical that happens. You create, and you it's your baby, and and then you know it it, it means the world to you. And then it goes out the door, and then in a, in a sense, it's not yours anymore. Right. Which actually is kind of wonderful. It's not a bad thing. I kind of have grown to embrace that. So all of that preamble to say. Anyone who disagrees with them, what I'm about to say is have at it. I wouldn't argue. Yeah, with I don't you. think anyone but, in the comments section on a YouTube video would have any disagreements <laughs> right. at all. I think you know it's just full of positivity and support, from as far as I know. Yeah, that's yeah. what comments are. Excellent yeah. point. I agree. <laughs> oh no, I was wrong. No, that's not that's things are not. I like that. That's yeah. Good. Yeah. What if it was like that for one day? Yeah. <laughs> just, yeah. just for one day. Yeah, well, like one, one day. day, it's like a reverse purge where yeah. everyone's like, <laughs> like for one day, people are like, "Let me get the door." No, I'm the asshole. Whoa, this is great. You know, but no, it's not gonna happen. Yeah, wouldn't that be? Yeah, I like. I like this. This is good. <laughs> oh, hey, let's bitch it. Yeah. Um, and then it's so hard for everybody that they're twice as nasty the next day. I know. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah like, exactly. It's like yeah, casual Friday or something. <laughs> um. What was my point? It was a. It was going to be a good one too. It was. It was. It was that. Oh, thank you. It yes. was. It was that. Uh, this is the beauty of the collaborative medium of television, and the fact that unlike a movie, uh, and they're all great by the way, but but when you are doing TV, uh, you can have it figured out uh, if you're able to do that. If you think you're able to do that from the get go you know, uh, 50 hours ahead of the end or 100 hours ahead, you know, in terms of episodes. But the way it always worked best for us is to not really know, other than that cardinal direction I spoke of, not to really know exactly where things were headed. And all of this to say, left to my own devices when I wrote the pilot, I thought Walter White really was a great guy. And he was, and he truly needed to do what he needed to do for his, to leave money to his family. I didn't have much more than that. I really didn't. And I figured this good man would become, by virtue of the fact of, of immersing himself in this swamp of criminality, he would therefore become bad. But now that we've done 62 episodes and it's all in the past and, and you know, it's, 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 what's done is done. What I came to realize, which I did not know at the beginning, is that it's like that old saying about Hollywood. Uh, success in Hollywood, or maybe success in general, but we, we don't think in terms of Hollywood, I guess. It's not so much that it changes you, but that it reveals your true self. Sure. And I think, in my opinion, that's what happened to Walter White. It revealed his true self. There was kind of a monster underneath it all. And, and uh, you know, he says in the final episode, he says, you know, I, after lying, after rationalizing, because this guy's superhero, aside from the chemistry ability, and the brainiac nature of his intellect was was really that he could lie to anyone, including himself, better than anyone alive. Yeah. And he stops lying to himself in that final episode, and he finally says, I did it for me. But uh, I really think he, there were elements, there was this, this overweening pride and ego that you see pretty much from the, the, big, you know, the first season on. And it hides underneath that, I think, some sort of really terrible low self-esteem, some sort of shattered, uh, broken image of himself. And I, I think there was a monster residing within that, that if these certain uh, elements hadn't come to pass in just the right way, we would have never seen the, the monster would have never revealed himself.